So I need to distinguish, they talked about real GDP. What does that mean? That means after we adjust for prices. Real is an attempt to measure in terms of stuff, but of course we can't measure in tons. Uh, you can't measure tons of hamburgers to tons of haircuts. That doesn't work. Uh, what we can measure is how much money was spent. And if we just measure the dollars and treat a dollar in one year as equivalent to a dollar in another year, that's nominal GDP. If we adjust for the purchasing power of the dollar, that's real GDP. So one way to express it is we're measuring in constant dollars. And in recent years, the typical measure has been $2,009. And what does that mean? It means when we see prices in 2014, we ask, how much has the purchasing power of the dollar declined by comparing 2014 prices for some basket of goods to 2009 prices? Uh, and we can say how much, say, someone's income has risen in 2009 prices by adjusting back from the prices we actually observe. Uh, prices have gone up, so we're going to divide by something greater than one to deflate that measure back to what it would have been in 2009 dollars, right, in dollars of 2009 purchasing power. Uh, there are different ways to make the conversion. There are different indexes we can use to weight all the prices in the economy, right? To come up with the average change in prices, you've got to look across hundreds of goods, thousands of goods. One way to do that that's thought to be most relevant to consumers is, the, of course, the consumer price index. And in that, we take only prices paid by consumers, so we're excluding business purchases and government purchases, just consumer prices, and we weight different goods by their share of the typical consumer's basket. So they go out and survey people, how much did you spend on rent? All right, we'll give that a 40% weight. Uh, and of course, there's an urban consumer price index where the weight on rent is higher than the headline consumer price index. That's the main difference. Uh, an alternative measure that's a little more comprehensive is a GDP deflator where the weights are from the actual shares in that year's GDP. So that includes business purchases of newly produced goods and service, services. It includes government purchases. Uh, and there's something kind of in between called the personal consumption expenditure <laughs> deflator where we use the actual weights in GDP but only for the personal consumption part leaving out business and government. All right, so these different indexes have their usefulness for different purposes. CPI is supposed to tell you how much as a consumer uh, you should adjust the purchasing power of your take-home income to see what you can buy. But of course, your bundle of goods may be different from the typical consumer's bundle of goods. So you actually, each of you needs a personal <laughs> consumer price index to figure out how much your standard of living has changed. But uh, in the recent quarter, current dollar GDP did rise. It rose by 0.3% over the previous quarter. So we're now at a little over 17 billion, uh, trillion, sorry, 17,000 billion, that's 17 trillion. But prices rose more than that, <coughs> right? Which means that in terms of actual amount of stuff, in terms of real ba value of stuff, uh, prices rose 1.3%. 3% nominal growth minus 1.3% just price growth means that in terms of the quantities of stuff, it went down by 1%. Uh, there's, a tr there's a big problem in sort of tracking prices of products when the products are changing over time. Right? So a car in 2014 is a lot better than a car in 1980. You're too young to know that, but I'll take my word for it. <laughs> Uh, but if you just look at the list price of a car and don't take account of the fact that the tires last a lot longer, you don't need to change the oil as often, et cetera, et cetera, you might overestimate how much inflation there's been. And there's a lot of debate over the best way to account for quality improvements in goods. Uh, but that's a problem with the conversion to real GDP. Uh, they try to do their best. Uh, but there, there isn't any, you know, one correct answer for how to do that. <laughs>